Simple diving deep strategies. What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to take a closer look at the game called Aquatica and yes, I stole this uh, this quote from, from the box because it just sounds so great. Simple diving deep strategies. So just four simple words that uh, really describe the game that much. So yeah, let's get down to the table. Let me show you what's inside this box and then we'll talk some more about it. Okay, uh, let's check out Aquatica. So, first of all, you have a rule book that looks like like it's pretty big rule book, 31 page of rules, but there's lots of like these diagrams that show you how the game plays. So, the, the rules are pretty simple, pretty easy. This is such an easy game to teach and to learn how to play. So, we have a board where half of the things in this game happens. So over here, up here, you have uh, spaces where you will be putting your mantas, getting rid of them. And you, all, you can only put here your special manta that uh, belong to your faction that are not like common pool of mantas. And you will put them here. So this will also be uh, game end triggering stuff. But you will be putting them here to score. Once you have like this achievement unlocked, you can put one of those here to score points and as fast as you do it the more points you will get and over here there will be locations that you can conquer or either buy and these locations are very important for the game and down here you will be able to buy some cards to build up your deck a little bit because there is some deck building in this game too so each of the players will get one of these boards and what you do with these boards you once you win one of these locations that i just mentioned as you can see there's lots of different locations in this game and uh, they have all kinds of different abilities on them once you acquire the location you will choose one of these slots and you will put them to the first visible circle that will that for example this one will give me three coins if i decide to slide it like so but next two things don't give me nothing nothing so when i slide it i get nothing but once i am uh, I slide it all the way up here. I can play a card that lets me score this one. So I will get seven points and I get a new manta that gives me two coins each time I use it. And then I can unflip it with uh, different abilities cards. And as you can see, there are some cards that will give you also coins and uh, let you push other cards. So I, with this card, I can push this card and I can push another card. And I can also conquer different locations so this one gives me plus two attack on a card with the blue symbol uh, in the corner so this one has a blue symbol so and it needs three to be conquered that one would give me two and i would only need one so as you can see there's all kinds of different locations up here and you will be battling for these because they can give, bring you a lot of points and you will be doing that by playing these cards from your hand so each of the players will get uh, the same cards so each faction has, uh, I think, I, I, I believe that each faction has the same card. Yes, each faction starts with the same amount of cards and same abilities on the cards, but you will get one of these cards that are unique. So this is your like, uh, like your king or queen of your uh, domain or however they are called in the rulebook. I'm not really sure right now. Some of them are, um, some of them are one time only, and some of them are have continuous ability and uh, there's also a common pool of cards that you can buy and uh, recruit in your deck to change it up a little bit so there is like this mech that uh, other players must discard the cards or like there's like some little pvp between players but there's really not that much pvp between the players also for those end goals uh, you can uh, switch them up however you want you can put these randomly uh, depending how many players are playing you can put these on the table uh, replacing those and each of the players as i said will get a set of mantas and uh, let me just quickly show you what they do they are all a little bit different so blue mantas have a little bit of different things than red than green than orange so basically those mantas have some abilities on them to conquer different lands stuff like that and once you use them you will flip them on their side and now they can be held they can't help you unless you play a card that tells you to flip all of them back which is pretty easy straightforward 
but such a nice and cool thing to do with these mantas you can and there's a whole bunch of uh, like a common mantas that you can recruit by conquering these locations that can help you out throughout the game and yeah basically that's that that's everything that comes in aquatica okay so that was aquatica and uh, yeah uh, first time I played this game was a long time ago, back in 2019, when uh, I was at Essenspiel. And we were at this gathering, uh, Mice and Mystics, and uh, some random guys sit with us to play the games. Uh, because that's all that happening is all about. You just sit and play games with random people. Usually there's a whole bunch of different people there, well-known uh, reviewers, uh, publishers, some of the people that nobody heard of like me so yeah basically i was there and there was this guy that sat with us and uh, we were playing horrified because i got it from the friend in the usa a really cool guy brought me horrified and we played the game horrified it was super awesome and then he said okay can we play my game now and we were like sure what you have and he said i have this one aquatica and he showed me the cover and at the first glance the cover looks very eh like so 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 I was really not blown by it when I saw the game and I was like, okay, sure, let's play it. But I was really expecting it to be such a lame game, such a not interesting game, stupid game, however you want to say. And once we start playing it and once we I started to discover this game, I was simply blown by it. And I said, uh, who's the publisher? I want to buy it tomorrow. I want to go and buy this game immediately. And he was like, yeah, they are sold out. And they were, all, were sold out for a long, long time. But finally, I got my copy of the game and uh, I was super excited to play it again and to tell you all about it. So, yeah, that, that I think this was the biggest intro for any board game I ever reviewed. So, yeah, this game is freaking phenomenal. I love it so much. It is, it is just, this game is absolutely beautiful game. Uh, the way it works, the way you win these cards and you put them in your like tableau of sorts on your board and then you have to slide them and you when, you when you find that perfect combo, if I slide this one, it will give me two slides and then I will slide this one which will score and when this one scores, it tells me I can slide one more and I can do that and I can win another card and I can put it there and once you get into this chain of combos, it just gets crazy. And uh, the thing is, first you see a game, first when you start to play, start playing the game, you expect like a grandiose game that will last like for at least two hours comboing things and you are trying to think way too much in advance. Uh, the game says 60 minutes, it is correct. Y usually a game with four players lasts about 60 minutes if all the players know what they are doing, if all the players know the game. Uh, it, can, it can last even less than that. But the beauty of it, the beauty of chaining those actions, chaining those different abilities, and you have those mantas that you can win some more of them that are neutral, but because you will spend yours to claim some goals that will bring you a lot of points if you're smart. So all of that combines into one beautiful one hour long game that I just can't start describing enough how great it is. Aquatica for me is sort of like an essential game to have because uh, uh, the rule set is pretty simple there's some deck building there's some like chaining of these different uh, actions but uh, the game can be played I, at least in my opinion the game can be played with the hardcore gamers or you can play it with like a little bit of like uh, uh, still starting to learn the games gamers uh, someone that is fresh new to the hobby and you will open an entire world to them. They, will, I, I can see people combining different abilities and trying to figure out the board and how it works and everything. The game is just absolutely gorgeous. It works great. It is an absolute must-have if you like. Uh, I mean, I would. I wanted to say if you like deck building, but this game is really not all about deck building. It's more about chaining those reactions with your deck, with building up those cards and everything. I'm just beyond words how great this game is. So yeah, Aquatica is something that you at least have to try. If you don't, if you don't like it, so be it. Not everybody, not every game is for everybody, but you at least need to try it. It is that good. It is really, really good game. 
so yeah that is that that's all i have to say about it uh please do join me next time when i will be uh, learning how to sy synchronize swim and uh, i can teach you in the process and until then podra it is a game where you will be you will be doing what you will be yes you will be you maybe not and uh yeah, yeah this game is